Oh, mate. Sorry about the delay. Oh, nice scarf. <laughs> One of Katie's. <laughs> no sign of Charlie yet? Not a peep, mate. It's not exactly shocking, though, is it? How long is he going to make his way? He's always doing this. Just assumes everyone else is going to run on his time. Oh, it's mate. Oh, come on, son. Boys? How you doing, mate? It's been so long. I don't know, I've been so busy. All right, sick of waiting. Pub? Pub? Pub. You okay, mate? Of course not. How could I be? Mate, what the fuck was that little display about? What's he ever done to you? You know what that was about, and it wasn't for him. Am I missing something? <laughs> you missed something two months ago. I knew you were going to do this. I knew you were going to bring How this up. How could I not? You missed his funeral. I was in Greece. You were four hours away. I drove I more than exactly that. I couldn't exactly drop everything, could I? Of course you could have. It's exactly what Harry would have done, isn't it? He'd also have wanted you two to stop bickering so we could go get a round in. Ah, well, aren't you a sight for sore eyes? Usual? Yes, please. Are you being all right? Business all good? Very good, thank you. Oh, I'm so sorry. It was a beautiful service. First round's on me, yeah? Thank you. Right, boys, my round. Look, George, mate, I'm sorry about it earlier. I shouldn't have shouted, not you. Oh, honestly, mate, it's fine. Well, no, it's not. I've not been sleeping well, not since... Not since Katie left. <laughs> Shit, mate, I thought you two were the real deal. What happened? I don't know, I, I really don't. She said we're different people now than when we first got together. She's got different priorities now, and I'm not one of them. She left just after Christmas, just when I needed her the most. She should have told us, mate. Yeah, tell us everything, doesn't he? Yeah, but we don't exactly talk much anymore. Well, we're always on the group chat. Yeah, no, I mean about real stuff. OK. Yeah, real stuff, you know? Maybe if we actually spoke to each other, Harry would still be here. Actually, lads, can we, uh, can we call it a night? We'll go for a big pub lunch tomorrow, you know what I mean? Sounds good, mate. Pick you up at like 10. Thank you.
he's actually lost the plot. How on earth did you get all that up here? Uh, Farmer Baxter gave me a hand. Didn't you want... Nick is trying to, yeah, I, I gave it back there. Lads, you might want to take a pew. I need to be honest with you guys. Eloise and I haven't been getting on lately. If I hadn't gone to Greece, that would have been the last straw for her. And I didn't think I could show my face anyway. Harry's new job last year fell through. I offered to lend him a couple of grand to help him get back on his feet, but he didn't take it. He said he was going to be all right. I should have told you. I just... I didn't think he'd resort to suicide. What are all the boxes about? When I went back to my hotel last night, I thought it'd be a good idea to pay Harry's parents a visit. I had to say sorry. I, I had to see them. They let me crash on the sofa. And then when I woke up the next morning, I was surrounded by Harry's belongings. So I decided to help them get rid of the last few things. Do you, uh, you bring the ciders, yeah? Yeah, it was four for a fiver. <laughs> Besides, I owed Harry one anyway. He always said it tasted like piss water. Yeah, I didn't stop drinking it there, did it? <laughs>